Got right in game three, Danny Green made seven threes. Tyrese Maxey and Green combined for 42, each leading the team in scoring with 21 apiece. It's easy to look at Embiid's numbers and say, okay, cool, he's back, 18-11, right? But it's the impact of the other starters with him in the lineup, Smitty. Four guys in double figures and the other starter with nine. That was the true impact of Joel Embiid's return in game three. It is. Uh, he makes life easier on both ends. He's that good. He's that big. He takes up space. And he's that much of a problem, particularly for the Miami Heat, because they are lacking size in the front court. If you just watch Joel Embiid, everything he does, and see the attention he draws one, because he's a great player. As you freeze it right here, this is three guys. So now you see the impact of them shooting a the three ball, the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, the first two games, they were four for 24. Just in game three because of him, they were 12 for 15. Now you see three guys, but this is different. I don't have to beat you with the pass. I'm a big seven-foot guy that has skills like a guard. I can get a layup. Three guys watching, coming to help, but he was too quick and too skillful. Last but not least, if you watch this play right here, he wants to set the screen. He slips it. I, I put the two guys on the weak side because that's Lowry and P.J. Tucker. I wish P.J. Tucker could have inverted because you have Kyle Lowry picking up Joel Embiid. No chance. Kyle's going to give you everything he got. But as you can see right now, so many people are paying attention to Joel Embiid. Bodies all around him. Tobias Harris takes advantage of that, drives it, kicks it to Thibel, and he gets an easy bucket. But I mean, just watch how many guys got easier shots. Danny Green, I always said, I, you know, I shot the three ball pretty good. When I got to San Antonio playing with David Robinson and also Tim Duncan, I used to catch it, Chris, spin it, shake my shoulders. That's how much time you had. <laughs> yeah, if you can shoot, you shouldn't miss them Did then. a manicure and a pedicure. Yeah, yeah I led the it. league in three-point percentage. <laughs> I said, I should have been playing with these guys my whole career. Life is easier when you have a guy that big, that dominant, and also can see the court. And how it affected the Miami Heat. So I look at Kyle Lowry, who made his return right, but also Bam Adebayo, who had great games in games one and two, just nine points in game three. And he seemed to be the guy whose production dipped the most with Joel Embiid back on the floor. Well, a few things is, one, I mean, you got to score over the top or over through Joel Embiid. That's no easy task, right? And then second for him, if Joel Embiid, I mean, if you're Bam Adebayo, and Kyle Lowry, Lowry. Lowry's a guy that loves to drive it, right? Because you're not going to have the space. You're going to pull up short. And Kyle missed some shots because he was, you know, a guy just coming back. But then Bam Adebayo is one of those guys, if you've got to box out, just even box out Joel Embiid for 40 minutes, it takes your leg. So you're going to struggle shooting a jump shot. You're going to struggle being able to sprint up and down the court. He is a factor that just is present. He didn't play great. If he could play better, and they can tie this series up. We might be having a look at one that might go seven. Okay, so you just gave me the answer to the Philadelphia 76ers and how they win game four for the Miami Heat. How do you take control of the series by winning game four? Well, I think for them is the one thing is you have a guy that big. You don't want him to stay planted defensively. I think you got to keep him in pick and rolls. You got to keep him moving. And Bam out of bio has got to catch the basketball moving. And he has to keep moving kind of like a, a Steph Curry. Once he get off of it, he got to go run and set another screen so guys can get some easy shots. And then defensively, you got to build that wall. Make him shoot over the top. Just don't let him get easy buckets. He's going to get 30, 25, 30, 35, but they have to be hard baskets, not easy baskets.